What's good? Only truth here. No more tricks, no more lies, only truth. And this this video, man, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about why I am like this way. Why, you know, you see all the videos, it's like crazy topics and some some more grounded topics. I got one video I know I talked about confidence and making good decisions. So those videos more sane and the other ones start talking about reality. They go a little a little deeper. But I just want to like give a give like an overview of why. And the reason I'm like that is because this shit has just never made sense to me. It's and it's low key trash. And that ties into genetics. Probably will bring that up later. Um, but it's it's never made sense and it's low key trash, bro. So we can talk about life and how it's it's beautiful. All of these things, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some stuff in there, even though we don't really know shit. <coughs> but I've always been what's always been at the core of my dissatisfaction is height. It's literally that simple. I don't know, man, but I was talking to a coworker recently and I mentioned it and I was like, man, you know, I'm shorter than 92% of dudes when we look at, you know, cause I majored in psychology, uh, so, of course, I took statistics, bell curve, standard deviations, all of that. But 92%, right? And I've always had the mindset. Some people might think that I'm negative on, like, first impression. Maybe, I don't know. But pretty positive, man. I'm all for working your way out of a situation. Finding a way to... To rise up against odds, right? So, and I've done this. I think I'm too much of a gamer, in a sense, because I'll pick up a game, hop in ranked or whatever. I can start in bronze, and I know, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb out of that. Like, I'm gonna get to top ten percent, five percent, top one percent. I'm gonna get there because I'm willing to critique. My gameplay, go back, you know, watch the tape, all of that. But I was explaining to the coworker, okay, how would you feel if you have the realization each day you wake up, it's like, wow, my genetics fucked me. I'm literally going to be five foot five just because. And there's no workaround for that. So, bro, I've literally concluded, damn near on some psychoanalyze myself in a way. I've concluded that that is the core of what led me down all these different rabbit holes, thinking about deep topics, all of that shit. You could say weird stuff, right? But that is, bro, that's at the core of it. So imagine I put you on a video game, your favorite game, right? Uh, we could say like Call of Duty. And I put you in ranked, but I tell you, hey, you'll never be above silver just because. You're not going to be allowed to use these weapons. Um, and even if you do get good with those weapons, you still won't get past this rank because, you know, fuck you. And why would you play that game at that point? Why? What What would be the point if there's a fine line between something being difficult and something being rigged? And that's always been the reason I'm, I'm so heavy on questioning reality, testing reality. Like I did the little sports betting thing where I lost... Five times in a row. This is the most recently thing. 
by one leg when I was going for the little 10K play. That's a quick aside. But that happened. And I'm like, bro, there's no shot that that happens. That's crazy. But I played a lot of video games, a lot of ranked stuff. And a character can be weak. And it'll get buffed. You know, a character's OP. It'll get nerfed. And I'm able to just step back and observe. Okay. If in this plane of existence, if we do acknowledge that there is something above us that is this creator, this this divine creator that's greater than we can imagine, why do human video games actually have a system in place where you get buffs, you get nerfs, and you're able to climb. You're not confined due to things out of your control. I, I just don't get it. Like, if something is such a great creator and it made it to where, okay, you can lose weight. If you've ever had a friend that's chubby, I know I have. You'll, you'll try to encourage them to lose weight. And I've done that, right? But there is no way to encourage someone to get taller and change genetics. or It's just no workaround. Which is, it's led me to believe that, bro, what if, what if the creator, if there is one, what if it's not even what we think, this loving creator thing? What if it's not even that? And I'm always reminded of this every morning, dude. Every morning I get out of bed, I'm like, damn, I'm still 5'5". Five five. This shit is crazy. I'm still just, I'm still typecasted. And another little hint that, well, I won't say it's a hint, but have you ever thought about how people will say, oh, you should play the hand you're dealt? Think about that statement. You should play the hand that you are dealt. Okay, so what happens when a person says that to you? They're likening your life, your experiences, your suffering, your ups, downs, triumphs, all of that. They're likening it to a card game. Just play the hand you're dealt. Now, that's true, but it depends on the individual. And something I found out about myself, man, I'm just not the type of person that can lie to himself. I'm willing to put in work and improve my situations. I'll look at the odds. I've shown this a lot, man. I believe in shit. And I believed in other people. I I spoke life into other people. Like, if they didn't think they could do something, I'm like, bro, you can do that shit. It's like, all you got to do is study this or study that. And you can get prepared. You can do repetitions and you'll get better at it. Just get better at the shit. Because a lot of stuff is repetition based. But I never could find that answer for myself to fix the main problem. And that's what always bothered me. But play the hand you're dealt. What that leads to, that facilitates a mentality of lying to oneself. And I can't get behind it. Hence the name, Only Truth. I can't get behind lying to myself. <clears throat> and before a person says, oh, it's always someone doing worse than you, though. And look at how they're staying in They're They're staying strong, blah, blah. I can't speak on another person's psyche because they may not have the same mentality I do. They may, they may be more comfortable lying to themselves, coping strategies and telling them. It's, it's really about how intricate the lies you can tell yourself to keep going with some shit to avoid the ugly truth. And the ugly truth is genetics. Genetics are some sort of hard coding device that, I mean, it gives you a hand you're dealt. It, it makes the shit into some sort of, some sort of like theater show where, bro, I've, I've felt like when I look back, at certain times when I was out with friends and stuff, and I've, I've looked back and thought, like, dang, I was really always the shortest person. I was always the shortest dude. I wonder 
how much I made them look better. <laughs> no disrespect, because I'm sure they're cool people, but I don't know. It just hit me when I see those statistics. I'm like, wow, I'm really shorter than 90% of dudes, bro. So I was making these dudes look better in a way. Shit hurt, bro. It just make you question so much. Despite all the work you willing to put in, I couldn't fix the one thing that held my mind down for the longest. Like, what the fuck, dude? So I don't want anybody to think, man, whenever I die, that I was crazy. Because I, wa- I wasn't crazy. I just, my psyche didn't mesh with the body I was in. And it was simply due to height as a male. Don't get me wrong. Like, there are guys that can lie to themselves. Or they may not run across information I've run across. You know, like I said earlier, I I was deep into psychology, majoring in psychology, got the degree in it. And I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a lot of studies. So all of this little red pill and looks maxing stuff. I looked that up. I knew about a lot of that research back in 2010. I was studying aesthetics. I was trying to figure out ways to get better look like facial features, all types of stuff, bro. I've looked all of that stuff up. The mathematics behind. You'd be surprised how much math goes into appearance. But despite me doing all of that research, all of that work, None of it translated into the physical. Like, I didn't get taller. I didn't get better looking. So it makes me question existence itself. And voila, that's how you get here to only truth. Where I'm talking about, is this a dream? Is this, is it um a prison and all of this stuff? That's how I got there. All from height and the way my mind works. I want to work my way out of situations and I want to tell other people they can work themselves out of situations. But the main situation that shackles me down, I can't even do shit about it because it's genetics. Like people, I'll be viewed as an inferior dude being five foot five just because like what the fuck, man? Other dudes, I'm making other dudes look better just by existing. This shit is trash as fuck, bro.